Well, new at six, controversy in Janesville over the killing of a deer from almost two years ago. A massive buck was shot and killed, police say illegally. But the hunter involved maintains he was following the rules when he fired that fatal shot. NBC 15's Tim Elliott has more. There used to be a large buck that liked to hang around here at the Janesville City Dump. He was affectionately known as the Dump Buck, a once-in-a-lifetime kill for any hunter. But now his death is sparking outrage in the hunting community. I think I was shaking taking the video because it was so um, over the top. Back in the fall of 2021, Sergeant Drew Severson with the Janesville Police Department recorded this video of the Dump Buck. When they get that big, they get really well known, and he was really popular in the city limits. Not long after this video was shot, the dump buck was killed with a crossbow, police say illegally. It's really sad the way it was harvested illegally, but it's also cool that we're able to preserve it to show off its beauty. Katie Murphy just recently finished mounting the buck and turned it back over to Janesville police. He was just a really neat buck. He had a really pretty cape, which is as taxidermists, we look for that. According to a police report, Jason Klein of Whitewater killed the buck and posted this photo to Facebook. We hiked around this area that this buck was supposedly shot in for over two hours, and we didn't locate anything that in my eyes or my supervisor's eyes that would say that that buck was shot in that area. Uh, we didn't locate any drag trails, blood. Uh, most hunters would never see a deer like this in their life, let alone have the chance to harvest one. JPD and the DNR teamed up for an investigation and concluded that Klein killed the dump buck within city limits and on private property. They were able to confirm that the pole that was in the background of the photo that he took was actually a um, ATC transmission line that was on the Lycon property. I reached out to Klein for an on-camera interview. He declined, but his lawyer did send me this statement saying, quote, my client Jason Klein did not illegally harvest the deer in question. The buck was shot legally on private property, which Mr. Klein had full permission to hunt. But JPD disputes this claim, saying in their report, the property owner where Klein claims to have shot the buck said the buck was definitely not killed on his property. It takes away from the sport of hunting. Uh, to kill it illegally. I mean, that's it's just not, it's not right. Klein was charged with trespassing and two other misdemeanors and was ordered to pay a fine. Every hunter wishes it was a more severe punishment, but unfortunately, the way the law is written, he got what he could get. This case is now closed and the dump buck is finally on display, a marvel of mother nature for all to appreciate. He's going to stay with us. I, I think he's kind of a, uh, a legend around the area. In Janesville, Tim Elliott, NBC 15 News. Now, according to court records, Klein paid the fine for the trespassing charge. He also paid a fine for failing to register the deer in time. The other charges, including firing a weapon within city limits, were dismissed.